What's going on YouTube? This is Necklace Fighter bringing you a brand new video. Uh, once again, welcome to our epic gaming adventure. This one is a bit different. This is a, uh, a free online beta that's going on at the moment on PlayStation 4. And this is the game called Dreadnought. Uh, I've not actually played it, so uh, as you can probably tell, I'm, I've literally still got the, like, the versus training tutorial to do, apparently. Um... There you go, I'm going into a training match right now, apparently. So we'll uh, see how it goes. My headset's um, not connecting to my uh, to my Bluetooth, apparently, so I'm going to have to uh, kind of wing it and just read what it says on the screen rather than having to do anything else. So I've seen this game being played previously by a uh, by a, a person on Twitch, um, ex-army guy. He's, uh, he's now, you know, he... Obviously, he was inside the U.S. Army. This is, and he uh, he now does you know games like this, etc. Um, great guy, uh, Big Beard Gaming. It is uh, he's called, and um, yeah, it's a it's a fantastic. Uh, it looked like a good game at least when I saw it. So this is the open beta build, as you can see. It says in the right hand corner there. So uh, I'll see what it does. Uh, I might have to invert the controls, etc. Depending on uh, you know what it uh, what it gives me as far as like controls go, because uh, I had a bit of a, a, an incident at some point, and since then I've not been able to like do the. I have to play everything inverted randomly rather than uh, just the normal way. I don't know why though. I'm not entirely sure about that one. But yeah, um, hopefully this uh, this loads into. It's got a pretty pretty uh, pretty. Ah, my headset just connected. Fantastic. So, uh, I'll, I'll pop my headset on. There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I got a bit of a... A, um... Like a, a slow load time on this one. But, obviously, it's uh, it's a brand new one. So let's see what's going on here, then. Uh, select this one. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll just press ready up. I, I have no idea. I, I'm guessing you're just choosing which ship you want there. I, I like the name Cerberus, so that's why I'm going for that one. Right. Yeah, just mute my uh, mute my sound on my laptop just in case. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, I see, I see. Oh wow, the movement on it's weird. Yeah, what's that, what's that, what's that? Okay. Gonna go upwards. So currently, I'm pressing the R1 button to be able to go upwards into the air. See what it's uh, see what it's like. Uh, pretty sure I can just press the uh, yeah. There we go. Good kill. Oh man, everything's in cooldown. What's up with that? Alright, okay, I see, I see. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I have no idea, no idea. Like... How to how to deal the uh, damage there? I have no idea. No idea at all. I don't know if well, I don't know which one of these ones is good. Uh, I guess go for this one. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Launch 
Oh, my team. My bad. Let's turn this bad boy around. There we go. Okay, I got this one. Seems a bit more, bit more my style, um, play-wise. The uh, I don't know what was, don't know what it was about the uh, last one. Uh, this is gonna be dead before it gets there. Oh no, 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 no. There's a ship down there. So I don't know what any of these abilities do, I'm just kind of using them and hoping for the best. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, so I press triangle, fire some torpedoes at it. Oh, it's, ev it's evaded him. Up here. Stop turning, stop turning, you useless thing, stop turning. <laughs> Man, the controls on this are actually quite difficult. The uh, like if you just press like left or right as you're as you're going upwards, um, it it makes it so much more like, just difficult. Uh, let's see. I wonder what guns are firing there. Try and hit that with the torpedoes. Wow, that ship's staying alive right there. Man, I don't know if I'm... It says we're dominating the enemy, but I have no idea. So it, like, the controls were a bit difficult. I'll be honest. Um, it's it is like a, a bit more a bit more difficult than uh, than I would have expected, like movement wise. Um, it's, it's just a bit odd, I guess. Probably because I'm not used to this type type of game. I'm guessing. Um, oh, nice. Well, we got it down. Finally, that ship was massive. That was ridiculous. Not the bad guys. Oh, there's one. I'd love to know what kind of guns they are, like how I use those guns. Don't I? Auto guns to recharge, okay. Right, let's see. Look, look, my ship's off on off on its own again. Hang on, wait. I have to turn it round. Oh man, no one to attack from all over there. 
I need to go towards this one. Um, if I press down the back button, does that? Oh, no, 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 no. Fudge. Ah, oh, what did I die? Ah, oh, man, I thought I was doing well. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I thought I was doing well there, but apparently not. <laughs> um, I'm clearly going to have to use that one again because that was that was probably my best, uh, my best one as far as that one goes. Let's take a look. Nice. I should take that out for quite some while, don't I? I don't know. You have to aim slightly above it with that, from at least at range, anyway. Oh, 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 hang on. Wait, wait. Oh, God. Controls on this are all messed up. It's not messed up, it's just that the ship's a bit weird. Um, it just turns by itself, kind of thing. Ooh, dead again. Man, that Julian Bissett. I don't know if these really like, are actual people or not that I'm playing against either. Um, I'm guessing they are, but I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they are, maybe they're not. I guess we'll see. Uh, let's see what we've got. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. There's a guy in the top left hand corner, he looks very um angry. <laughs> Oops. Person's on my team. Oh wow, I got him. Nice. Okay, so that was my first ever game of uh, Dreadnought there. Uh, it's very slow paced, but you, pro you can probably get very tactical with it, I imagine. Um, I think we won in the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won. Uh, it doesn't tell me there. But yeah, as I said, <coughs> this is a free open world beta, uh, or open beta rather, uh, at the moment and you can download it obviously as I said for free uh, you, all you have to do is sign up for Greybox Games it's a free sign up as well so there's nothing to worry about there um, and you can you know you do that online it's, it's nice and easy I did it on my on my mobile phone it's, it's that quick um, but yeah 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 uh, it was it was pretty interesting you uh, it might be one of those ones that you kind of have to you know work your way into as far as it goes obviously that was just the training mission I can imagine that it's got quite a a uh, difficult um, story mode, etc. That's if it's got a story mode, obviously. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if it does or not. Uh, but as you can see, you know, there's uh, character creation, so you can, you know, you can edit your characters themselves. Uh, um, as you can see here, there's a hanger, so you can edit the ships that you've got on there as well. Uh, so you, you know, you've got the various ships down here. You can add ships, etc. Uh, you do get, wait, let me tell you this one. You do get obviously veteran and legendary class ships as well. Looking at it, tech trees. It just shows you what you can 
kind of uh, work your way down to. You know, if you see down here, look, uh, I don't know what these ones do, obviously. Uh, in fact, I could probably take a look. There you go. Look. So it's not. It's got minus one maneuverability. The very bottom one out of these ones has minus one like maneuverability compared to what I've currently got. Projectile speed is so much faster. Um, the obviously it's got more energy, more firepower, more health, as you'd expect. Obviously, it's it's quite a way down kind of thing. As you can see, look, it's only a speed that really varies once you get down that uh, that kind of range. Um, that has pluses, but also minuses. So it's one of those games where you're going to need to you know put in what your like think about what you're actually putting in and what you're using as uh, as you go into it and obviously you're always going to have people that will have you know like I don't know someone will have this one and that one works perfectly against this one over here kind of thing um, obviously there's three different sects as well as you can see here that was sects and um, over on here you know you can you can see that there's lots of different options etc uh, then we've got the market where you can you can have ships from heroes. I'm guessing there'll be people that you meet inside the actual game or hear of inside the actual campaign itself. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a campaign for it because that makes that makes sense. But yeah, um, it looks like they've got everything set up as far as you know as far as the game goes. It, it's just a case of uh, finishing off what they're doing with it and getting it uh, all nice and shiny for us. So, uh, yeah, I uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I didn't get to talk too much as I did this one, but as I said, it, literally, the first game, the movement was a, a tiny bit weird, I'll be honest. Um, it does, like, just turn whenever it feels like it kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, um, pretty, uh, pretty good, as I said. Probably going to be a tactical game, if anything, if you're into that kind of thing. Might be something that you want to pick up. Uh, as I said, it's a, it's a free beta at the moment. So, yeah, I'll leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Hope that you're all having a fantastic day. And please like and subscribe for more. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.